Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the net wrap and twine add-on. But before that, this video is brought to you by Greg Musen and Bipolar Profit. Thank you for being farm barons. So both of these mods are going to be able to be downloaded over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. Both of these mods are PC-only mods due to the fact that they have additional scripts in them in order for them to function. Now, what does the net add-on and twine add-on give you? Well, it takes the balers from having unlimited net wrap and twine and gives you now a consumable in pallets of net wrap for round balers and pallets of twine for square balers. Now this particular pack includes several brands of net wrap and twine and also includes all of the base game balers in a modified format in order to work with the net wrap add-on and twine add-on. Now that is a little bit different than I think the FS19 version of this mod in that the FS19 version would let you use the net wrap add-on or the twine add-on basically with any modded baler out of the gate. That's not the case in FS22, and I kind of like the way he's doing it, but at the sacrifice, you will have to do a little bit of mod editing in order to get maybe your favorite round or square baler to work with the twine or net wrap add-on. Let's go ahead and take a look in the shop and see where we're going to be able to find all of these items. Of course, if you go to tools, come down here to balers. We're going to have all of our base game balers, and none of these balers, none of these balers are going to work with the net wrap or twine add on. We will have to move into the modded variants of these balers for this to work. I'm just going to skip past those for now. We're going to be able to identify the balers that are going to work with the net wrap add on by simply having the net wrap add on text there at the bottom. So we have the Pottinger Impress 125F Pro, Hoon VV3190, the Impress 185 VC Pro, and the Kloss Rollant 455 RC Uniwrap. Then we have the Twine add-on for our square balers. We have the modified Massey Ferguson 1840, the New Holland Big Baler 1290, the Case LB436HD, Os Quadrant 5300FC, the Kuhn SB1290ID, and the Crone Big Pack 1290 HDP VC. Now, this one has a little bit of a caveat. In my testing, as configured right here, it will work. If we add a silage add-on tank, it will not work. So I think there's a little something going on with the script where it is expecting the baler to have just two fill types with this particular mod enabled. And by adding the silage additive tank, we are now giving this particular baler three fill types. And the fact that we have a fill type of the bale, with a fill type of the twine, and we have a fill type of the silage. Doesn't seem to work if we have three fill types. Hopefully that will be updated in an update at some point. We could also, of course, come down here to mods and DLCs and find our net wrap add-on. We're going to find all of the various brands of net wrap and the modded balers to go along with that. As well as the twine add on, we're going to find all of the twine as well as all of the modded balers that are associated with those individual packs. But wait, there's one more place to look. And I really like what the mod author has done here. Under packs, we now have a net wrap and a twine pack. And I really like this because. Anything and everything that will work with, let's say, the twine add-on is going to show up here under this pack, assuming that any modded balers have been modified according to the mod author's instructions. For example, I have here the Kloss Quadrant and Crone Big Pack from the Kloss and Crone Baler Pack with Lizard R90 Rakes. I have made my own edits of those and I have them right here. So these two balers will work. We're going to demonstrate that 
with the Twine add-on after I've made the appropriate edits. And since I've made those appropriate edits, they're showing up here in the Twine pack, which I think is really, really awesome. We also have the ability to get several different palettes of Twine. I think there's seven different variants of Twine. Here we've got Lizard Twine, Case Twine, Kloss, Throne, Coon, Massey Ferguson, and New Holland Twine. $50, just, oh, sorry. $750 for 48 balls of twine, or we could get 24 balls of twine for $400. And then, of course, we have the balers that are included in game that have been modified to work with this particular add on. Under net wrap, we have six different types of net wrap we have a generic lizard brand, Kloss, Coon, Cooverland. Hottinger and Vicon. Just like the twine, we can get in two different sizes. $3,050 for 12 rolls of net wrap. $1,550 for six rolls of net wrap. And then, of course, we have the modified base game balers also in this pack. So, with that, Let's go take a look and see how these balers are going to work. And I've already got some set up up here at a field, but I do want to just jump in and show you filling these balers because we will have to fill them. We're also going to demonstrate here in a little bit what you need to do in order to modify your own favorite baler in order to work with this particular pack. So we're just going to walk up or drive up to our roll a net wrap and we're going to hit R and we're now going to fill it. Round balers are going to typically hold just one roll of net wrap, which is going to be 2,800 meters worth of net wrap. Balers, on the other hand, are going to hold different quantities depending on the baler. Take a look at the New Holland one here. hit R to fill. See down there we are now filling our bale with net wrap. You can see our pallet is going down. No, we do not have to match the brand of twine to the brand of baler, but if you are wanting to do that, you can very much do that because we do have each brand that has a baler also has a brand of twine. See, this particular baler is going to hold what 216,000 meters worth of twine. Let's run up here, see this in operation. So, here we have the Pottinger Impress 125F Pro. You see, we have it full of one roll of twine, 2,800 meters. We're going to turn on automatic drop. Go ahead and turn on a baler. And the way the net wrap is going to work is once we have a full bale, then we are going to wrap the bale, I believe, eight times. And then we are going to deposit the bale on the ground. Depending on the diameter of the bale you will go through more net wrap with a larger diameter bale than a smaller diameter bale there you go you can see it working just like that let's go over here and demonstrate a small square baler unlike the round baler Square balers are going to consume twine at a consistent rate because as the bales are growing, twine is being consumed. So you can see twine is going down at a consistent clip. Now, let me show you what I was talking about with respect to this 
Crone Big Baler. Here we have the Big Baler with Wine and with Silage Additive. I'm turn it on. Now, this is not going to work. We've already demonstrated how a square baler should be consuming twine. It should be consuming it at a regular rate. It is not consuming any twine whatsoever. And that is because I believe there is an issue with the script. I don't believe it likes having three fill types on the baler. And with respect to this one right here, it has a fill type of the bale itself. It has a fill type of the silage additive, and now it has a fill type of the twine. But here is the same baler without the silage tank, and you can see it is working exactly how we would have expected it to work. And the fact that I am just slowly burning through the twine that is in the baler. And the last thing I wanted to demonstrate at this point in the video is a modified Kloss Quadrant 5300 with the Nidao rake or the lizard rake in the front. You can see we have 2100 or 216,000 meters, I should say, of twine. And as we are gathering a product, we are consuming twine at a consistent pace because as the bale grows more and more twine is being used in order to wrap the bale now you may say well i want to use x bale baler because i like to use x modded baler you can do that and i'm going to show you right now how to modify your favorite baler to work with either the twine or the net wrap pack, but there is one caveat. As I was saying with this particular baler here that has silage additive. If your favorite baler, let's say the big Heston baler that has a silage additive tank, if you have a silage additive tank on your baler, this mod, as of the 1.0 release, is not going to work. It will work and should work if you do not have the baler configured with a silage additive tank, but it will not work if you have the silage additive tank. And it will also, sadly, not work with the Vicon Fast Bale. I have tried for about the last two hours to get it to work with the Vicon Fast Bale, and I've been unsuccessful. Because again, the Vicon Fast Bale has three fill types. If you think about it, it has the pre-chamber, where it has capacity. It has then the wrapping chamber, the finishing chamber, so that is two. And it's a wrapper, so that it has then three in the wrapper. And if you add the net wrap, then you run into an issue. Hopefully the mod author will update the mod to work with balers that have silage additive and the Vicon fast bale. But for now, we're going to be stuck without using balers with silage additive, and we're not going to be able to use net wrap on the Vicon fast bale. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to need to do in order to modify our favorite baler mods to work. So here we are on our desktop. And I have my mod folder open. And what I want to do is first I'm going to extract the contents of a mod that I have downloaded. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say extract all just like that. And then I am going to also extract the net wrap add on just for convenience. We're not actually going to leave this extracted. But it's just going to make things a whole lot easier in the end with respect to editing our files and getting to those. So with the net wrap add-on or the twine add-on for that fact, you're going to go to the how to edit mods folder. And in here we have the Impress 125 F Pro. That is going to be just a standard round baler, as is the VB3190. That is just a standard round baler. The 185 VC Pro is going to be a round baler wrapper, as well as the 455 Uniwrap. 
Uh, I'm going to open the VB3190 file because that's going to be a very good reference for what I want to do. So I use Notepad++, so I'm going to right click. I'm going to say Edit Notepad++, and it's going to pull this file up for me. I'm going to go back to my modded baler, and I am going to open the XML file that is associated with my baler. This one is, happens to be the BR6090.xml. This is a new Holland baler from the in-game Giants Mod Hub. I'm going to right-click that, and we're going to say Open Edit in Notepad++. So here we have our kind of donor file, and then our file that we are going to mod. I'm going to pull this out just by dragging it. To its own file. To slap it over to the side, and we're going to make this one over here on this side. So now we have the on the left the file that we are going to get our edits from, and on the right we're going to have the file that we're going to put our edits into. What we need to do is search for start text added on our left file. Then we're going to copy all of the information between start text and finish text added to the appropriate spot on our right file. Take your time, back up your stuff, you're gonna be fine. We're gonna copy all of this text, we're gonna highlight it, right click, copy. You can see this is just below the need power. So we're gonna come over here to this entry, need power. We're gonna give it a space and we're going to paste it right in, right click, paste. Done. Now if you are kind of particular like me, you might want to space these things out just so they look the same. The next section we're going to do is right here below functions and above image. We're going to copy this text. We're going to come over here to while we are editing. We're going to go to functions and image. We're going to put a space there or you know, line. We're going to paste this, right click. Paste. There we go. We have that now entered. That is what's going to define adding this baler to the store pack. Then we have one more edit we need to make in this particular file. I'm going to copy this text. I'm going to go to my find function, which is Control F. I'm going to find the next set of information, which is down here under fill types. Over here, I'm going to do control F and I'm going to type in fill unit, just like I had there. That's going to take me down to approximately the right location. Scroll down a little bit and we're going to see where we are. So here we have fill unit, fill unit, fill unit configurations, fill unit configuration, fill units, and then fill unit. Okay, and then we have one fill unit, and then we have our start text added. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this. We're going to come over here to fill unit. We're going to see where fill unit ends, and before fill units starts, we're going to paste it in. Or Want to get all fancy, we can basically space it out the same. And there we go. Now we are done editing this file. So we're going to save it. And we can close it. We can also close this file. There's one more change we need to make. That is in the moddesk.xml for our modded baler. I'm going to right click on that and say edit in Notepad. Then we're going to come back to our NetWrap add-on folder. We're going to go to itsmoddesk.xml. Open a Notepad++. And we're going to scroll down in this green text right here. We need to grab this line. because It says, remember to make use of the NetWrap or Twine. Work for your round baler or square baler. 
you need to add this line to your mod desk that XML file without adding this line nothing we did will make it work go to our Baylor mod desk that XML and what works for me is I have found that I just place it right here under description I'm gonna paste that in there control V or right click and paste so now we have dependencies, dependency, fs22 underscore netwrap underscore add-on. Then we close out our dependency bracket and then close out our dependencies bracket. We're going to save that just like that. Now we can close Notepad++ and close our netwrap folder. I use 7-zip makes zipping up files super simple what we're going to do is we're going to go into our modded baler we're going to right click and we're going to say 7-zip we're going to add it to fs22 underscore br6090.zip we're going to then cut the file and then we're going to go up one level to our mods folder. We're going to paste it to replace it. And then we are going to delete our Baylor file, our Baylor folder. We're also going to delete our net wrap add-on folder because we're not going to need that anymore. Now we're not deleting the net wrap add-on zip file. We're only deleting the folder. So now what we're going to do is launch the game and I'm going to show you that we now have our new Holland BR6090 in game. We have it in the NetWrap pack and we're going to demonstrate it working for you. So in game, once again, we have our new Holland BR6090 round baler and let's go ahead and take a look. In our packs under NetWrap, we can see the BR6090 is indeed included in this particular pack. And that is because we added the code to be included in the pack when we modified this particular mod. If we go over here to Mods and DLCs, we will see that it is not listed in the NetWrap add-on Mod and DLC. Because again, that particular bailer is not a part of the actual mod but it has been modded to work with the NetWrap add-on, and that is why this pack thing is really, really super cool. Go ahead and jump on in. You see, we already have 2,800 meters worth of NetWrap in our baler. As we produce our bale, just like we have with any other round baler, when we get to a full bale, it is then going to wrap the bale. You can see down there below, it is consuming the net wrap. And we have now produced the bale. When we make our second bale, you're going to see that we're also going to then to consume net wrap after the bale is completely made. We're now wrapping the bale, and now we are dropping it out the back. So guys, we didn't go and talk about modifying a square baler because honestly, it is the same procedure as we saw with the round baler. We just need to make one little tweak difference when we were editing the mod desk.xml. So make sure you copy the right line from the twine add-on moddesk.xml into your particular modded moddesk.xml when you are looking to update that. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of the NetWrap add-on or the twine add-on? And remember, you will have to modify your favorite baler to work with this particular mod in FS22. And until we see a mod update, you're gonna have issues if your baler has three fill types 
after you add this mod. So for example, if your baler accepts silage additive, then it's not gonna work as of version 1.0. And if you have the fast bale, that's not gonna work either because the fast bale has two baling chambers. It has the pre-chamber and the finishing chamber. Therefore, when you add the net wrap add-on, you get a third fill type. And it doesn't seem that the script that does this works very well with three fill types. And until next time, happy farming.